no re re mi e tangi a ki rata i roti te wairua a rata i ko oko ki mai nei i roti te nei ata a i roti i ngā mi i a te tangata ki te tangata a te hononga wairua te rā o ratau nā ratau e ni a uatanga i a pai i wā wā te wā i ratau a nā mā tātau ngā mā ue tanga ake o ratau e a pai i roti e nei rangi Tēnā koutou ngā tai e oa o te motu. A tātou e ui nei kia oka oa iti a tātou o kāro. Mo tēnei taonga o tua o karere, tēnei taonga o tua uki. Tēnei tūpuna me ki no tātou. A akua aere ki uea i roti i te motu. Ana kai reira ta mana mo tēnei oki o ngāika. E ora nei... Hei kai mā te kiko kiko, ai ola nei, ai kai mā te wairua, te kite atu, te rongo atu, te rā kai, e ola nei, ki moa, hei te aru aru o te tangata. Nā mā reira, ngai tātou, ngai iwi Māori, waka o rai. Nā tāku i roti tēnei wā e mii, e tangi, ki te wā uatanga. Te konga konga aere nei, i runga oki o tātou mara. Mōku mō onga nui tē ki te nei tē rā uatanga e ola nei i roti ngā ui ui ngā o ngai tātou, nā teiti, nā teiti o tau wakai, e tai e nei tātou, te wā wā, te ola nei, ei koa mō a tātou marahi. Koi rata kui tangi. Nō reira māku i roti tē nei wā, ei wā wā i ai, tā tātou nō o ngā tai. Te tuku e te i kōrero, hei kai mā te otu manoa o tēnā o tēnā. Ei ngau ngau, mā tēnā mā tēnā o koutau ko tau tau te nuku roa kia tai mai, ki runga ki au ki o ngā nui i roti te nei wā. Nō nei nei mi ana. The first version of the program had Ken Mea opening today. And I think the wisdom of the organisers uh, was that um, perhaps um, the Awatupua and its kōrero uh, might appropriately frame um, the two days of our conference. And so that's my role. Um, and I'm going to speak on Te Awatupua. And as I'm doing that, I know it's not going to be something that's going to be something that you won't recognise within your own context. And so I offer it as a kōa, for this conference, um, to give ourselves a window back into ourselves, uh, to frame the discussions that need to take place within this conference uh, that will address the mana, the tapu te'i, te we'i, te mauri, o tō tātou tau. And I start with, um, actually, Huirangi Waikerepuru's translation of Tupua Te Kawa. Uh, and it goes like this. He kawa pōe nuku. Oh, sorry, Dan. <laughs> Forgot to cue the, the mayor because he's sick of looking at me up there. Ana. And I suppose this is what we're talking about. Māori awa, Māori tangata, Māori ora. And it can be read back the other way. Māori ora, Māori tangata, Māori awa. He kawa pōe nuku, pōe eu, pōe rangi papa, pōe rungo matane, pōe i tau. Puai ari, puai oko, puai motu ariki, tiki awaiki. The law of earth abounds, the law of nurturing accessible water, the law of radiant sun and earth influence, the law of balance, life on land and in forest, the law of water for food and life, the law of the moon's effect on the ocean, the law of effect of tidal waters at the river mouth, the law of life in the ocean, the law of life on the sacred mat of life, the law of tiki hawaiki, the law of humanity. As you um, view these pictures of, of the river um, and the other abstract images that will come up, we're reminded that our place on this planet 
is not as masters of these things that we are viewing or that we are coming to talk about, um, but as companions. That we place ourselves within the context of our rivers, of our streams, our lands, our mountains, and we never place ourselves as masters over them. When Ken speaks, he will recount uh, the way in which our okapapa to the natural order is recounted on a daily basis, even in the mii and the pōuri that our queer said this morning. And so when we start to look at this thing, Te Awa Tupua, and what's been created in the context of the Waini River settlement, we're really only talking about going back to first principles. And those principles that have guided our people might run. And so there's been a lot of quarter or around this thing, this legal person. And people have been singing it from the hilltops and saying, what a wonderful thing to establish a legal person. How clever these Māori are. Surely they have now recognised the correct way in which to present their rights. And really, the opposite is the case. Because if we look at the history of the river claim that our people took, it stemmed from the 1839 to 1949 period, when the New Zealand Company, then the Spain Commission, and then um, the effort of the Crown to confirm the purchases, in inverted commas, that were made, and the rights that were ceded by our people, it was there um, that the Crown assumption of rights over our river began. And that went right through the whole of the 19th century. Um, in 1877, we had objections to the harbour regulations because it would destroy um, the fisheries within the Mimi or um, within the estuary area of our ancestors, Redeomaki. And right through the 1880s and 1890s, um, was characterised by our people's objections to the destruction of our pātuna and our utupi'ara. Uh, their very livelihood was destroyed because gravel was extracted, boulders were diamond, dynamited, and um, the pātuna and utupi'ara were destroyed to allow traffic um, for what you can see on the screen now, um, steamer, steamboat traffic into the interior. So really when you look at it, right up until 1927 there were petitions for the likes of Piki Kotuku, um, they tried to address the imbalance in view, the imbalance in mana that was established by the actions of the Crown. They totally ignored the way of life and the relationship we had with the river and forced us into a conversation about ownership. They forced us into a conversation about our customary and Aboriginal rights as determined by their courts, and totally ignored the relationship fundamentally that we have with our river and with its fish. So we had the 1938 to the 1962 river uh, bed case, in which the people collectivised and decided that they would seek, through a customary approach, to have our interests in our river recognised. And they used that through um, the ancestress Ruaka and Tamakeu. And that's uh, our queer's marae there, you can see in that picture. And their children through Tamaupoko, Inengakau and Tupo. So they used Okapapa to establish a customary interest indivisible from the beginning of the river to the sea to show that these things were held in the kawa and the tikanga of the people that that is the correct way, even though they were seeking recognition in the Pākehā courts, that was the correct way to contend and deal with this river. And so when we start to think about what was signed in 19, well, 19, uh, 2014 uh, at Rānana uh, by our people, it was really only to confirm that the mana of the river belongs with itself and that a first principles approach one based on the innate values of the river was the way in which we need to be addressing the river's mana and therefore the iwi's mana. And so the likes of Sirachi 
um, Tairo had said before the tribunal in 1994 that Wanganui Iwi have sought to preserve their rights, protested, petitioned the Crown and pursued their claims before numerous courts, tribunals, and such litigation has often seen issues narrowed such that they are almost unrecognisable in Māori terms. And that's what's been done to us. We no longer recognise the conversation because the conversation has been turned into a legal one, has been turned into one which is about tenure, is about rights of people over rights of the river and the rights of the fish that inhabit that river. And it's not for me to determine where this conference goes in the next few days, but just to say this approach that we've used has been based on going back to first principles, to ensuring that these kids can uphold the mana of their river in the terms that their tūpuna understood it, the terms that their tūpuna talked of, and the terms that they now talk of. Yet, as soon as they leave their kura kaupapa, their ore kura, they go out there into the world, and the world is deaf, because the world cannot understand them when they relate to the river through its wairua. When they talk of their tūna near pi'arau in wairua terms, and that's what we're trying to change here. And yes, we should crow about the fact that legal personality has been granted to a river for the first time in the world, but that in itself isn't the achievement. The achievement is, is that these kids' voice is going to be heard. But it's not just going to happen. We're going to have to make it happen. And we've got a lot of work ahead of us to carry that, to move the conversation away from the areas that Tauwiwi and the Crown feels comfortable to talk in and to move it back to the marae that we understand. The kawa o te rangi e tūnei o te papa e takotua kene. And so that isn't a garnish, e ara mana e wakarākei e waka niko niko i te waka o te iwi. That is actually the riu o te waka. And that's the corridor we need to be having. So I'll finish on this note. And that little child you can see there is my grandmother, Tapaya. This was taken around about the turn of uh, last century. And her adoptive parents, Weepodal and Tapaya uh, Senior. And uh, when we had the tribunal hearings in 1994, um, we had our, our Pai Pai set. And we had the likes of Sirachi, who held the, the Māori for the claim, uh, Machu Maraikura, who held the Māori uh, for Ngā Taonga o Tauitorangi, uh, Rangiti i Tauparai, who held his portion as well, and of course we had uh, Tanatipa Simon, uh, who made observances and provided translations uh, for the tribunal because there was no translation service in those days. This is 1994. And um, our kuia, including Kui Nano, which is uh, Grace Tairo, Te Putere, which is um, Uncle Archie's mum, uh, Te Mano Wanui, uh, one of our aunties, Juana Akapita, who's one of the claimants, and Te Paia. Uh, and the rest of our queers sat on the floor humbly and listened to the kōrero uh, of their pōtiki, who spoke and delivered during those proceedings. And then when it became time for them to speak, um, they stood and they spoke. And when they started speaking, they continued to speak without interruption. And they spoke for a long time. And they spoke in the reo of the river. And none of them spoke in English. Um, and people just had to wait. Um, Sir Eddie Jury had to wait. The tribunal had to wait until they were finished their piece. So to wā eki ana te manawa, ka tu ka ora nei o rātou kupu. Uh, and this is what the Paya said amongst uh, a lot of the corridor that was laid down, and none of it recorded in any of the records because, um, as I say, they didn't have translation services like they do today. But this is what she said. I taku no i no i tanga. Katoru uh, aku tau, a koi nei te oranga o aku matua, te ariki te ika i tuna. Ka oka moe au, e mea e pataka i runga i te waka o aku matua. Ana ka aro e moe nga moku takoto au i runga i te waka. E takoto ka tiro ki te rangi, ka kite i te koroi rangi, 
and not kapatea tu ki te iwi. Te moe o koutou e a tēne mea te koroi ragi. And everyone shook their heads and said, no, we don't know what a bloody koroi ragi is. Tell us, kui. Uh, and she said, e wai rua tērā. Ka kite koe te koroi rangi i runga i ngā kapua. Ana, ko taua koroi rangi, hei āra i. I o tātou mātua i āra tātou e oi ana i ngā waka. E koroi rangi. Ana, no taua rangi ko oki mai te pāwera wera ki te iwi. Ki te oai e ene a uatanga. Mā te ara wai rua, hei waka mārama me pewe ai tātou e waka oti ai ngā mai i roti i te au kiko kiko. And just to translate for some who don't understand uh, what the Kuya was saying, she said when she was small, the livelihood uh, and their survival depended on fishing in the river. And their parents would make her, uh, at only three years of, old, of age, uh, a moinga in the waka for her to sleep on. And while they were fishing, she would look up at the clouds. And she didn't know at that time what she was looking at and what she was seeing as a child, but she found out later in life that it was a koroirangi, a wairua, and the wairua that guided her parents in their fishing pursuits, and of course, our mātua, Mairanu. And I think when we start to consider what's been created in the Awatupua, and if you take the time to have a look at the settlement, if you take the time to have a look at the bill, oh sorry, the act now, uh, that is currently in place and which legitimises at law uh, this concept of kawa being the way in which we define and relate to the river, and its fish, uh, then you will see uh, the essence of this queer is quartered there. Ka hoki ana ki te koroi ragi uh, o tātou mātua o tātou tupuna. And there's really nothing else to it. There really is nothing else to the fact except the first principles define us as the river and the river as us. And part of that is that those tuna, those piaro, those kuaro, uh, all those fish become part of that legal personality as well. So kāti ukira e okamārama e mii e tangi ka ora nei ki waenga nui tātou te kaupapatangata e oka ui ui nei roti tenei rangi tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā no tātou. Tomana, Kamau, Kaita. <laughs> 